Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, and what you're looking at on the windshield is something you don't normally see in Texas. That's called frost, and I'm clearing my windshield now. The left side's pretty clear, <clears throat> but yeah, we had a little frost on the window this morning. I don't have an ice scraper or any of that stuff, but <clears throat> we'll move on here now, and this windshield will clean up pretty quick. My side windows are good, my mirrors are good, so let's go get them. Where am I headed? I'm going to get two gallons of water, filtered water, to take with me to El Varedo, Texas on Wednesday morning. I'm just getting a few little chores done. But what I wanted to talk about this morning is my Class C RV. Isn't it a beautiful sunrise over there? <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, a lot of you have asked questions about, you know, how long it is, what have I got on it, how many slides do I have, and so on and so forth. But so what I'll do uh, in advance of picking it up, I'll go ahead and go over a few things, and then I'll repeat this about 700 times in the next year. <clears throat> so you'll really, re that's what you call reinforcement learning. But the windshield's cleaning up nicely. I got cakes on the griddle. Life ain't nothing but a funny, funny riddle. 32 degrees outside. But anyway, I have on order and am going to pick up a Thor Four Winds 22E. Okay, and I'm going to pick it up Wednesday morning in El Varedo, Texas at Motorhome Specialist. And it has the following, or doesn't have the following. <clears throat> No slides. None. Why? I don't need a slide out. It's just me. I mean, you know, I've got, I've lived in a 17-foot casita for over two years, and before that I lived for a year in a 16-foot Coachman Clipper Cadet. <clears throat> so we're not worried about space, are we? No. <clears throat> anyway, what else? Uh, so there's no slides. And another thing about slides, uh, there's some other YouTubers that have motor homes with slides and they've been having some issues and another thing I don't have are electric entry steps you know some motor homes whenever you open the entry door the steps kind of come out I don't have those they're built in does that solve another issue yeah that's just something else that can't go wrong yeah we're kind of going directly into the sun but it actually kind of neat so built-in steps no slides Another thing I didn't want, unfortunately it didn't come with it, because you probably couldn't have deleted it, I did not want ducted AC, nor did I want it ducted heat. Why? Because air ducts accumulate all kind of dirt, mildew, mold, and all kind of crap, particularly the ones on the floor, the heat, the heat ducts, and I know a lot of people have them, and the reason the RV manufacturers put them there is because it makes it more like a home because everybody thinks well I've got uh, uh, what do you call it wow I'm right into the sun here I can't see poo poo <clears throat> anyway the, the, it, it's like it makes it more like a home that's all but mine does not have that mine has a roof AC actually it's the same maker uh, that the of the uh, casita, the, the AC. It doesn't have a heat strip, which I wish it did, but it doesn't. Uh, but it's a 15,000 BTU air conditioner, which is fine, should do fine. And uh, it's just a roof mount AC. It's got the low profile on the inside. It doesn't have, it, it hangs down about maybe three quarters of an inch. It kind of goes at an angle. It's just like the casita, works fine. And it's a Coleman. Uh, I don't know what type of model it is, but it's a simple one, you know, basic, basic, less to go wrong. And uh, also the chassis that I got with my Class C, you had a choice between Ford and Chevy, and that's it. The, ch the, the chassis I got was the base model Chevy chassis. Why? Because it doesn't have all the bells and whistles. You know, I don't want my car talking to me. It's a 2020 Chevy chassis, uh, <clears throat> 6 0, 6 liter, or whatever they call it. Plenty of power. You know, the, the, the uh, well, we'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, the chassis is just a simple one. It has the rubber mats on the floor instead of carpet. Got heated mirrors, though, which I've never had. And it's also got uh, 
cameras in the mirrors and a backup camera, you know, so whenever you put your left blinker on, I guess you see, I don't know how it works, I'll have to figure all that out. But yeah, basic model Chevy chassis, no heated seats, don't need them in Texas. You may need them up north, we don't need, I don't need them here. Heated mirrors, I really don't need, I've never had them. I've got, my mirrors are clear right now and the sky is clear and all that stuff. We don't get a lot of the things y'all get up north. So be that as it may, no power seats, just plain old thing. You actually have to lift a little lever, two levers, one to tilt it back, the, the seat back and one to move it back and forth. Isn't that horrible? Manual labor, my God, what will I do? Uh, and as far as the roof vents, uh, there's no max air roof vent or anything. It's just got, the, it got one that has the little 12 volt cheapy fan you know, you know they, all this is done, all these things that are left out by the manufacturer, which are fine with me, are done for one reason, and that's to reduce the cost because this is a very low priced Class C RV. In fact, it's probably the least expensive Class C motorhome you can buy. <clears throat> but it'll be fine with me, and I, I, I won't, shouldn't, I can't have slide problems because I don't have any. Uh, anyway, no roof air vents. I may have a max air vent installed. I've already talked to a guy about doing that. Uh, it doesn't have any solar panels on the roof, but it is solar ready. It, it's got the, the wires there, so all you got to do is add the panel, which is nice. It even comes with a uh, controller on the inside. So, uh, what else can I tell you about it? Well, the total length from bump from the rear of the back bumper to the front of the bump bumper, you know, total length is 24 feet. The height is 11 feet. The width, I think, is probably, you'd have to allow about 8 feet on the width, I think, 7 to 8 feet. And it's got to overhang your, above the cab like all Class C's. And the driveway, uh, it appears, is right at 9,400 pounds. And I'm not going to add, but about uh, with water, gasoline, if I add, if I add water to the, to the fresh water tank, uh, with water, gasoline, let me turn this fan down a little bit. You want to hear all that fan noise. Uh, with everything loaded, I, I'll add about 300 pounds of my stuff and probably another for water and gasoline, another 100 pounds or so maybe. Uh, yeah, we're looking at, I'd say between 9,500 and 10,000 pounds tops on the total weight of the Class C. So I'm hoping to get, I'm hoping to get 10 miles to the gallon or, or more, <clears throat> or more, or more, or more, more. You know, we'll see, but you know, I'm gonna drive 55 to 60, just like I always do. And I'm going here to my water place and it looks like a family reunion here this morning. The work, work the crews come here to, to get uh, snacks from Inman's Barbecue. Good barbecue place. But anyway, we'll pull in here and I'll end the video, guys. But it's a nice day in Lano, Texas, and I wanted to give you a heads up on that right quick. So enjoy your day. Uh, tomorrow I'll do a shorter uh, comment call. And then uh, Wednesday morning I'll get up. No, not tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday I'll do a shorter comment call. And uh, then I'll get on the road and we'll go get us a Class C, guys. So how about that? But anyway. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want anytime, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. Keep your health and enjoy your life, guys. Adios.